Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at the Ollie Dash plugin, something that I'm going to guess the name will change uh, over the course of a couple, a couple months, if not in the next year, we'll probably see Ollie Dash as a different name. And we'll talk about that as this video moves on. OllieWP.com is the theme. It's the one that made a big splash a couple of weeks ago, which I did a video on all about having this dashboard plugin baked into um, the theme itself when Mike and team submitted it to wordpress.org for listing. Uh, it was denied. You can go back and read the previous blog post on that stuff. So the plugin now exists on ollywp.com. You can go to the download page and download the Ollie Dash plugin. It's an interesting name because I think, as I mentioned at the top, um, it'll probably do a lot more in the future and dashboard or dash plugin. I want to call it onboarding plugin, but that's, that's just me. Let's take a look at activating it. I'm in my InstaWP temporary WordPress account. I search for the Ollie theme. We're going to install it and activate it straight from WordPress.org. Sans this dashboard plugin. Let's go ahead and hit activate. Ollie theme is, if this is the first time you're seeing it, um, made a lot of ways because of this issue with WordPress.org and the theme team and having this code inside the theme. But it's also a very nice looking and modern uh, block-based theme that's doing a lot of fun stuff, even without this plugin, uh, that makes it a really nice experience for those of you that want to dive into that full site editor and block experience um, that WordPress is uh, really, I was going to say pushing into, but it's it's here. This is this is WordPress. This is the future of WordPress. It's here, and Ollie theme takes a hold of it um, by the horns. So let's go ahead and install the plugin now. So I've already uploaded it. Whoops, I thought I already uploaded it. Go to install plugin will activate and when we activate the plugin will be welcomed with the onboarding experience uh, for the Ollie theme so let's go ahead and click on view Ollie dashboard and why a lot of people were really taking to this theme and why a lot of people were sort of rooting for having this code um, built into the theme is well it's going to help a newbie really get kick-started with this theme are other themes doing this yes are other themes doing it better um, you could make the debate, like if you look at Cadence or a Generate Press, um, they too have pro add-on themes that help you build an entire site, get all the plugins that you need activated, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I'll save that for a different video. So let's go through the setup wizard, and it's going to ask you to get started. The Ollie setup wizard, the Ollie setup wizard will help you and your site get set up quickly, ready to go live and just a few screens away from a beautiful website, ready, let's go. So we click on started, get started. And the user is now presented with color palettes. So we can change the different color palettes that we might wanna uh, go after. And we can see what the color palette is right here. This is a um, built-in WordPress thing, but we're just bringing it, feature, we're just bringing it to the front and center because it's sort of buried away in the editing experience, the site editing experience. and generally customers or end users don't know about it unless it's right in their face especially if you're brand new you probably never find it uh at least for a few days um, use the accent color above to add your brand color to be used as the main accent color of your website it's got no color now i'm just going to randomly uh pick one that i think might go well with that sort of green color and we'll go save and continue the next page one that again is not so different than what Cadence, Generate Press, Astra, Elementor, these bigger theme companies have been doing now for many years, um, but it's just now in the full site editing experience. So we can create these pages. A user has the ability to check off their homepage, check off what their blog page will look like, um, and then you can go and you can check off all these other pages. So I'm just going to check off these three for now, the Ollie pricing page. It's going to create these pages and then continue that setup experience. Why does Why is this revolutionary for a WordPress end user because it's sometimes you're trying to copy and paste styles from a demo site uh, or as a brand new user you might not know where to start and having these templates well that's the whole point of this stuff is it really to fast track us to the completion of uh, the theme that we want I'm a huge proponent of themes that really get the user, the end user, 90 to 95% of the way there. And then the only thing they want to change is going to be, let's say, typography, colors, um, you know, uploading their logo and making sure everything matches, and then bringing in the, the content that they want to adjust. 
that five to 10% difference is something that is critical for somebody to, I don't know, download and use a theme for free or buy a theme for $150 for the year if you're a Cadence or Generate Press. Um, and really just feel like, hey, this was valuable to me. I want this because it gets me not 80% of the way there, which is something that we would say for years, but I'd say 90 to 95% of the way there these days because there are so many options, so many ways to build a WordPress website. Theme competition is, is rising. Again, I'll save that for a future video. So your homepage always displays what do you want on the homepage. Again, this is a very... Uh, uh, standard way of setting up WordPress, a lot of same uh, nomenclature here. Your latest post or a custom page, we're going to click a custom page because I'd say 90% of the businesses out there are going to start with a custom homepage. Select the homepage. Well, we set those homepages up already. We already created it through this little walkthrough and we'll just click on Ollie Home because that's the homepage we want. What I really like here is it's previewing it for us. So what, like if I was saying, what is on that page? Maybe I want the Ollie blog page. What does that look like? It's gonna give me a little preview there, although that's the footer at the top. That might not be <laughs> working as intended for the blog. Oh, I know why, because there's no blog post, so it's not showing anything. Um, or Ollie pricing page, right? So let's go back to that homepage. And we'll set that as the homepage here. Save and continue. A little bit of confetti, and now you can view your site, edit your homepage, edit your header, and view the Ollie docs. And when I previewed Ollie in the last video talking about all of this stuff, um, you know, this was, this was nice. It was clean. I, I, I didn't have to you know, bounce in between different starter sites or scratch my head and say, you know, what site do I want or check the knowledge base that even sometimes I'm doing using Cadence or Generate Press, depending on what I'm working on. And, you know, it was smooth and seamless. Now, the draw, not a drawback, but the reason why is because there's only one theme, one layout, one style that you're really going to launch with an Ollie theme. It's not like a Cadence or Generate Press, or an Astro, or an Elementor, it doesn't have all of those starter sites. Not yet, anyway. And that's why I think maybe Ollie Dash will be Ollie Site in a year from now uh, when Mike and team start to uh, build out all these new features. All right, let's take a look at the site. So we'll view our site. That was the homepage that we created. That was the, uh, this sort of burnt orange color is the uh, is the brand color that I chose, which doesn't look all that good as I thought it was going to look um, against a, a type of green site uh, color palette that I was picking. But either way, homepage is made. All those other pages are made. And then all I would have to do is go into um, my site editor and start building out and modifying the menus and stuff. But before we go and do that, which we might not do actually in this video, is look at the remaining areas or features of the Ollie Dash plugin. And that's theme setup. We can always go back and sort of walk through that demo again. If I wanted to, you know, build that template page again, I can go through and, and do that if I wanted to. If I wanted to change the brand colors, I could really walk through the wizard and go through all of that stuff again if I wanted to hit sort of like this complete reset um, of building out the site. I can explore the video library. Again, this is one of the things that I think Mike and team are doing really well, incorporating videos, incorporating support docs right inside this dashboard plugin. Again, that's why he calls it Dash, because I feel like he's looking at it as a dashboard overview of all the things you can do with Ollie. So that's what this plugin really enables on the Ollie theme. It doesn't work with other themes. Uh, I don't think he's going to pursue that. I, that that would be a whole different product onto itself. I saw some chatter of people saying like, why why wouldn't it be great if you could do this with any theme or you know maybe the core default themes, maybe any full site editing theme. Mike comes up with something in the future, though I doubt he'll do that. I I really feel like what he'll do to monetize this theme is enhance uh, the compatibility with, of course, WooCommerce, Gravity Forms, um, all these different. Uh, all of these different plugins that really make a site uh, generate revenue or generate purpose um, other than just content and blogs and portfolio sites. So Ollie Dash plugin, you can now download it at oliwp.com slash download, download the plugin, download the theme. The theme is in wordpress.org if you want to grab it. What are your thoughts on the theme and plugin approach? I think it makes sense. I think it's uh, best to distribute this way from on his own brand and his own website on his own terms. I think that really makes sense. Um, 
And how do you see Ollie as a theme that you will use in the future for your website building? Are you going to use it just on your own sites, um, you know, to build out your own portfolio sites? Are you going to use it on customer sites and client sites? I like the th- like to hear your feedback on how it stacks up against a Cadence, a Generate Press, an Astra, and then the bigger page building uh, frameworks like, let's say, Bricks and Elementor and Beaver Builder. I f- feel like these are all different categories these days. Um, I'll save that for another another video in the future as well. The WPMinute.com. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like today's video. Subscribe to the channel if you wa- if you want more. Leave those comments in the comment below. Don't forget to get your favorite five minutes of WordPress every week. Go to the WPMinute.com/slash subscribe. Thanks for watching.